It's important to get to know all children because we teach real human beings, not a faceless mass of little robots out there. It's, and we're more effective teachers if we know our students, if we know what their interests are, we can begin to build a relationship with them. And it's been proven that the teacher's re relationship with the student is key to a successful year for that child. So there's building a relationship. Then there is getting to know students as academic learners, that we're more successful teaching children to read if we know what their strengths and challenges are as readers. If we're more successful teaching children math if we know what their strengths and challenges are as mathematicians. And then for children with challenging behaviors, there's the additional piece that we all human beings and have, have triggers that set us off. And if we understand what a child's triggers are, what might lead them to present challenges to themselves and others, we can avoid those triggers, work with them, prepare for them. On the first, second day of school, Sammy, during a lesson, threw the Cuisinaire rods at me. Now, looking back, I mean, the first day I really didn't know what Sammy's triggers were, even though, you know, I'd, I'd talked to other teachers, I knew what strategies had worked for people, what strategies hadn't. Still, I didn't really understand how deeply persistent Sammy was, how when Sammy got an idea in his mind, he was going to roll with it. But by the fourth day of school, I knew enough about Sammy's triggers that I knew that I was, if Sammy was going to be sharing something, if Sammy had an idea, I had to be really careful about when I was going to intervene. On the other hand, I had to protect the needs of the whole class and make sure that we weren't all waiting while Sammy went down his path. So by the fourth day of school, I knew to be careful to give a little proactive talk before, beforehand. And I also met privately with Sammy to have a one-on-one -on -one problem solving conference so he and I could together come up with some strategies so that we were allied, so that we were a team working to help him when he, he was going one way and the class was going another. In our problem solving strategy, Sammy and I agreed, you know, I had some ideas, he had some ideas. Um, we came up with the idea that I would tap my foot on the floor when I saw that, you know, he was beginning to, to go down his persistent path. And also, if he felt that he was going down his persistent path, that he would tap his foot on the floor as a reminder to himself and to me. And then I could, you know, quietly put a hand on his knee or just softly help him calm down. 